Hey everybody, I thought I would come to you today with my third trombone vlog where I just talk about things in the trombone world that interest me or um, things that are that I guess have come to my attention or I just want to talk about. And today I'm not going to talk about anything specifically about playing. I'm going to talk about something that I actually get asked a lot by my students and even fellow professionals. And that has to do with all of this leather that you see on my instrument and what's it all about? Do I need it? Does it help me? Does it, you know, what does it do? And essentially these leather guards, uh, well most of them I purchased online from, from various uh, retailers. And the reason that I purchased them and use them is not because I like the way that they look or that they help me grasp or hold on to my instrument any better. They simply serve one purpose for me, and that is, is, is to protect my instrument. I have very acidic uh, hands, and I guess the, the oils of my hands are extremely acidic. And I discovered this when I was in college, and I had a Con 83H bass trombone that I played every day. And after about three and a half years, I had eaten through the receiver in this part right here where my hand goes I had almost eaten through the uh, all the way to the center of the slide and uh, I had to have uh, parts replaced and then I started to notice after I discovered this that different parts of the instrument that I touch on a regular basis were wearing very very quickly and as I uh, got older and bought different horns uh, more expensive instruments I wanted to protect them and so it came to my attention that there were a couple of companies, and one I believe is uh, Leather Specialties, based out of Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, there's a couple of other new ones that uh, I'm sure if you just do a quick Google search, you'd, you'd find them, that make various uh, leather grips for every trombone model you can possibly think of. I mean, they uh, come pre-made, pre-cut, uh, they're all high quality, and, uh, you know, and they're very easy to, ins to install. But that's why I have them. Now, some people do need them, or they claim that they help them with uh, increasing the diameter of the braces, and it helps them hold on to the instrument. And some people simply like the way that they look. But for me, it's just to protect my investments. I hope to hold on to the instruments that I currently have for the rest of my life. I have a great vintage Bach collection. And so all of these right here are essentially just to protect the instrument. They serve no other purpose besides having me eat through the instrument itself. Uh, there is only one piece of leather that you can't buy that I had to custom make, and that's this piece right here. As I mentioned before, I had eaten through the receiver on the Con bass trombone in this area, and to this day I've seen no other companies that sell a piece that covers the lock nut and that part of the receiver. So what I did is I went down to a craft store and just bought a simple leather patch that would you, know, you fix a jacket or jeans or something with, and I cut it, and I had to, well, I had to kind of experiment with its size, uh, cut it to where it would wrap around that part correctly and uh, fit the way that I wanted it to and not be uh, obstructive to my playing. And then I super glued on some Velcro uh, like like little dots, you know, and that has worked for me for a long time. It's just a cheap way of making these. Um, you have to watch out for uh, them coming off after time. And oh, if you can hear the, the the bell, I'm here at a, at a school, and I guess they're uh, changing periods. So anyway, I hope that answers questions for my students. And if you were always wondering why in the world do I got all this leather, it's to protect my horns, so I can continue playing these horns for as long as I live. So anyway, I hope you learned something from this vlog. If you have any questions about these leather grips, let me know. Thanks for watching.